Okay, that was converting a percentage to a decimal. Now let's have a look at doing the opposite. Let's convert a decimal into a percentage. Suppose we have 0.6. Now you remember from before that what we did was we divided by 100. Now we're trying to do the opposite thing now. Instead of percentage to decimal, we're trying to do decimal to percentage. So because we're doing the opposite thing, it makes sense for us to do it by doing the opposite action. So instead of dividing by 100, this time we're going to times by 100. Okay, now we've got 0.6 as our decimal. We're going to times by 100 and that will give us 60. You must remember to write the percentage sign in. Let's have a go with another one. 0.85 as our decimal. If we want to change that to a percentage, we must times by 100. That gives us 85 and we put the percentage sign in. Suppose we had the decimal 1.0 and we wanted to make that into a percentage. Again, we times by 100. 1 times 100 is 100 and remember to fill in the percentage sign.